Welcome to Breaking Down the Game. I'm Tyron Johnson, 10 year pro, currently playing in France. With Breaking Down the Game, I wanted to break down the game of basketball through film study and tips and drills that you can use to help improve your game. So sit back, pay attention, hope you learn something so you can go out there and make them pay. Let's get it. Kawhi is one of the best players in the NBA. Top five in my opinion. This breakdown is coming after the Clippers has just lost to the Nuggets. I know many people have mixed feelings of him now. Not me though. I understand the game a little bit different. Seeing his progress year in and year out has been amazing. One of my favorite players to study. Let's get straight to the breakdown. First thing first, let's talk about Kawhi's hands. His hands are massive. Having hands that big is a huge advantage. It works for guys like Kawhi and MJ. Michael Jordan, you know him right. You have full control of the ball. Having full control of the ball takes away one less thought when trying to score the ball. He really moves the ball like it's a baseball. Next, let's talk about pick and roll. Kawhi plays a lot of middle pick and roll. It usually leads to him attacking the big and getting all the way to the rim. The mid post is where he is dangerous. He's so big and strong. I think Jimmy Butler said that he's the strongest player he's ever faced. His style in this area is similar to Jordan and Kobe. He has a variety of shimmies and turnarounds. He loves to face you up and shoot right over you. Also, while he's in the area, he's trying to create a lot of contact. Soon as he gets that bump, he's going up to score. He's really good with pivoting. He remains low and patient. I feel like he's more comfortable with the half spin than the full spin. Most of his shots in this area, he's creating a lot of space with the fade. Same way Harden uses the step back when he gets into his full spin, it's usually after a bump while he was driving. He lets the defense momentum spin him around. Another skill in his arsenal is the ability to make runners. Most guys shooting running floaters. He shoots running jumpers. Let's talk about him attacking. When he puts his head down, it's tough to stop Kawhi. He doesn't use any fancy dribbling techniques. His main dribble combo is two tweens. He uses that to read your feet, then he attacks. He changes speeds very effectively. He goes from surveying the court to a quick burst of speed. While attacking, Kawhi's head is on a swivel. He's checking out the situation at all times. Look at how his head and eyes are always moving. He's very patient in that mid-range area. He's not in a rush. He's just surveying, waiting for you to make a mistake. He loves to hop step and feel you out. He's also great at create, creating after he gets into his hop step. Lastly, when he's attacking, he's going straight through your body, getting you off balance for the finish. Let's talk about him finishing. Kawhi's touch is super underrated.
he utilizes those massive hands for finishing. He goes off of two like normal players, but he finishes with his left, often and comfortably. In the air, you don't know which hand he'll finish with. This makes him dangerous. Although he takes off with both one leg and two leg jumps, he's very strong and very bouncy off two feet jumps. Watching Kawhi shoot is very interesting. It's like he's shooting a tennis ball. He has more of a line drive shot. I think this is due to his release point. Do you see how high it is? Most important thing about his shot is that it's consistent. His hand placement are usually in the same area. If I was his shooting coach, I would try to get his off hand a little to the left of the side of the ball. Maybe because of his hands, that's hard to do. He makes tough shots. A lot of his shots are contested. Many coaches might not like it, but he has no problem with taking and making those tough, difficult shots. At the end of the day, you have to count that Kawhi scores a lot of his buckets at the free throw line and from defense. I don't showcase defense in these breakdowns, but Kawhi is an exception. He scores a lot of buckets off of just getting steals, being in the passing lane, being super aggressive using those massive hands to get deflection, and finishing with a layup on the other side of the court. But hey man, that's my breakdown of Kawhi Leonard. If you guys got any comments like usual, I know y'all probably gonna kill me, especially after what just happened with Kawhi in the playoffs. Leave them in the com comments. I would be greatly appreciative of that. Uh, besides that, man, just subscribe to the channel. Please like the video, share it with your friends. Besides that, stay in the gym, keep working, study your film, get better each and every day, man. I'll holla at y'all for the next video.